hello viewers welcome to the channel in this video i'll show you how to design this model in FreeCAD. it seems easy and yes it's easy to draw this model in FreeCAD. but to get the final part we need to combine tools of four workbench and also a good computer to create these holes i said four workbench because the creation of this part can be done using only the part design workbench to create these holes here, we need a tool to map the sketch in a cylinder face. That tool is not available in the part design workbench. The tool is available in the carver's workbench. And the use of that tool creates a new object of type body in the tree view. So that is why we will use four workbench to create this model. So let's get started. Let's go to free cut. In the start page, create a new document, click on this plus icon and now switch to the part design workbench. And now create a new sketch, you can click on this icon, click on this icon and select the exit plane for the sketch. And now zoom out. Okay, and what we'll do in this sketch here is to draw a section of this part here. So as you can see in this section view here, we can see the dimensions of this part here. So now let's go to FreeCAD and draw this section here. First here, what we need to do is to select the polyline tool in Sketch uh, Geometries. Click on this icon and now just draw this sketch. Okay, now we have this sketch here and the next thing to do here is to create this fillet here with a range of 5 millimeters. So now select fillet tool here and select these two lines. And as you can see, now we have this arc here, this fillet. And next, let's set the range of this arc, select this constraint here and click in this arc. And the range here must be 5 millimeters. Okay. And the next here, we can set this constraint here, this angle within these two lines. So now select this constraint here and then these two lines. And the angle here is 135 degrees. Okay, and now we can set the vertical dimensions of this sketch. So first we need to select this vertical distance tool. And for this line here, we'll set a length of, okay, let's set 20. We'll set 20. Okay, and now select this point here and this point. And here we'll set a distance of 3 millimeters, this distance here. Okay, and now we need the distance between this point here to this point. And you can see here is 27. Okay, and now let's add the horizontal dimensions of the sketch. So now select horizontal distance tool. And for this line here, we'll set a length of three millimeters, set three. Okay, and now the distance between this point here to this origin point, we'll set the alpha of 10, we'll set five here. Okay, and now as you can see, we have this dimension here, 34. We have this distance between this line here to this point, this point here of this arc. So what we do here, first we need to select this point and then this point here. And now we can set the distance, 34 degree. Okay, and now as you can see, we have two degrees of freedom. So the next thing to do here is to, is to set the alpha of this dimension here. So what you'll do here, you will select this point and then this origin point. And the length here must be the half of 100. So we'll set 50 millimeters. And now as you can see, we have one degree of freedom here. So the next thing to do is to select this horizontal constraint here and then select this point and this origin point. So as you can see, now we have this sketch full constrained.
okay and now leave the sketch and press home on your keyboard and select revolution tool now press home again and as you can see now we have this part here so click ok and uh, the next thing to do is to create these fillets operations here this filler, this filler, then this fillet here. So what you need to do is to first select this edge here and now click control and select this edge and then this edge here and select filler tool. The rest of this fillet is two millimeters, so change here and then click OK. And now as you can see we have this part here. Okay, and the next thing to do now is to create a cylinder for this part here. But to create this, what we'll do, we'll create a new body for this part here. So let's go to FreeCut, go to the model tape, and here what we need to do is to create a new body. Click on this icon. Okay, and now as you can see, we have two bodies here. Just hide this body here, spacebar. And now go to Additive Tools of Part Design Workbench, click on this icon and select Additive Cylinder. Okay, and now let's set the attachment of the cylinder. So select XY plane. And here scroll down and select, check this option, flip sides. And now here we need to change the edge and also the height of the cylinder. So let's go to the string page and freeze here. We can see a length of a height of 120 for this cylinder. Okay, and also a diameter of 100. So what you'll do will change here to 50, the for 100, and here will set 120, and then click OK. And now as you can see, we have the cylinder. And next here we need to. The next step here is to create a hole in this cylinder with this diameter here 95 millimeters so what you need to do is to select this face and then go to the hole tool and here change the diameter of this hole to 95 millimeters and in depth here we can set 200 no problems click ok and now as you can see we have this hole now and uh, now make this body visible spacebar and as you can see we have these two parts here and the next thing to do here is to is to create this part here to create this part what we'll do we'll make a copy of these first parts here so let's go to free cut and here select this body and now click in this copy icon click ok and now click in this pass icon and now as you can see we have this body here Okay, and the next thing to do is to change the placement of this body here. So what you need to do is to select this body and now click on mouse and select transform tool. First here we'll rotate this part here. So here in the in this option here, rotation with here, the volume must be 90 degrees. And now rotate this part in this way. And next, we need to move this part here, 120 millimeters to the bottom. So what you need to do is to change here to 120 and then move this arrow in this way and now click OK. And now as you can see, we have three parts here. We have three bodies. And now we are able to create these holes now. So what you do first, first here we change the workbench to Carvis workbench. And now to work with this body here, what you need to do is to hide these two bodies. So first select this first body, and now this body here and spacebar. And now we can work the, with this body here. So the first thing that we'll do here is to map this sketch here in, this, in the face of this cylinder. So what you need to do is to select this face and then click on this icon. As you can see, here we'll sketch on the surface. So click on this icon. And now as you can see, we have this. We have this operation here. 
clicking this arrow and as you can see here we have a mapped sketch double click in the sketch and as you can see here we have these we have this sketch here so the first thing that we'll do here is to hide these dimensions okay and next here what we'll do we'll draw this sketch here select polling tool and here what to do just draw the sketch Okay, and now let's add constraint for these for these sketches here. So first, what we'll do is to select these perpendicular constraint and then set these constraints here. Okay, and now what we'll do next: select line tool and draw a line here in these two points. And escape now and select this line here and click in this icon. And now as you can see the color of this line changed. So this line here is a construction line. And next here select this line and this line here and set parallel. Okay, and the next thing to do here, okay. First let's hide these constraints here. And now what we'll do, we'll set these lines equals select this two lines and these two lines and set equal okay and as you can see we have four degrees of freedom here and okay the next thing to do now is to set the dimensions of this sketch so first here as you can see we have we have these horizontal dimensions here so let's set these horizontal dimensions first First, select this constraint here, horizontal distance tool, and then these two points here, and the distance here must be one. Okay, and now select this point and this point here. The distance here must be 10. Select parallel constraint, and then these two lines. Okay, and now as you can see, we have one degree of freedom here. So here we'll set the distance between this point here to this point. Drag this sketch in this way and zoom in. Select horizontal distance tool. Select these two points. And okay, let's set let's set a distance of one. And then leave this sketch. Okay, and as you can see here we have these two parts. Okay, so the next thing to do here, first here, let's go to the sketch on surface operation and go to the settings. And first here, we'll check this option. We'll set true here. And here we'll set the thickness of 10 millimeters and offset of minus six. Okay. And also we need to change the placement of these parts here in the Z direction. So what we do, we go to this operation here and then we go to the placement position and here in the Z direction, we change here to minus five. Okay, the half of 10. Okay, and now as you can see, we have these two parts here. And the next thing to do is to create these all parts and then we create these holes. So what you do, we go to the draft workbench, select draft. Okay, and first here, hide this grid here, click in this icon. Okay, and next here, select this sketch. And now what you do here, we go to this tool here, click in this icon, and now what to do, select this polar array. We need to change the number of items to, okay, let's see here in this table, you will set 27. Okay, here must be 00, zero and here 27, and then click OK. And as you can see, we have this, we have this array here. 
and now what you need to do is to select this array and now click in this icon and select this array here and here what, what you'll do first here here in this number of elements what you'll do will set one for the x and one for the y and here in the z what you'll do will set will set 12 We'll set 12 here and now we go to this option here and what we need to do here is to change the Z to 11 as you can see here change to 11 and now scroll up and click OK Okay, now as you can see, we have these all parts here. And the next thing to do here is to is to make a subtract of these of these arrays in this body. Switch to the part workbench, select part, in order to subtract these arrays here from this body. We need first to select this body and control select this array. And now click in this cut icon. And yes, as you can see, now we have these holes. So next here, what to do? Next here, we can make these two bodies visible. Select this first body and then this body here and space bar. And now as you can see, we have these three boards here. And the next thing to do here is to fuse these three bodies here to be on part. Select these three, select these three bodies, and then go to this tool here, Union, and click here. And as you can see, now we have these parts here. Here in the interview, we have this fusion part. So it's all for this model here. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this video useful, please leave a like, a comment, and also share this video with your friends. And if you want to support the channel, you can do so. Just go to the description of this video and you'll find a link to my Qualify page. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.